everyone, this is Elisa from Anaya's Toy Box Crochet and I want to talk to you about wires. Um, for those of you who make amigurumi, you probably came across, especially if you make amigurumi dolls, you probably came across the idea of using wires to make your dolls flexible. And uh, so I'm going to tell you a little story about wires and making your dolls flexible. I had this idea of putting wires in my dolls and I made a pattern by somebody who I do not recall. And I worked really hard on that doll and I put pipe cleaners into the doll so that she could be flexible and she'd be fun for my daughter to play with. My daughter was around three at the time. And when we started playing with it, the pipe cleaner had broken and it stuck out of either made a hole or stuck out one of the natural holes there is in the fabric of amigurumi and cut me and I just have to be say I just have to say I'm glad it was me that it cut and not her because if my three-year-old had cut because I got cut because I put wire in my dolls I would be really really upset so the first thing I want to say is if you want to put wires in your dolls don't give it to a child under nine years old I would say nine years old maybe eight depending on how gentle the child is with her toys don't put wire in your dolls if you are giving it to a young child that is my my thing I mean obviously you can choose to do whatever you want to do but my thing is no young child should be getting a doll with wire in it so uh, years later when I was ready to start um, start putting wires in my dolls again I decided to do some research instead of going in there with you know pipe cleaners I decided to see what other people were using and to see if that would work for me so the two things that I saw that people were using is floral florist wire and jewelry wire so this is the wire let me just move the bag this is the wire you would find if you go to the you know the silk flower section in your local michaels you will find this wire and if you go to the jewelry section you will find this wire in michaels i bought them both from michaels this one is a really 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 thin wire this is actually a 26 gauge i do not know what the gauge of this is because i bought it quite a while ago and i didn't keep the label so um i would say maybe 18 maybe 20 i'm not exactly sure this wire is super thin and I feel like it is super fragile, like it will break. Maybe not as fragile as a pipe cleaner, but still it seems very, very fragile to me. And yes, I bought this to make a doll, but the doll I will make with this will be for display purposes only. I would never, ever give a child, whether there are eight, nine, ten, or 15 if they actually plan to play with the doll I would not give this wire this a doll with this wire in it to anybody who plans to play with the doll if they plan to get the doll and put it nicely as decoration pieces on their you know shelves and once in a while they pose it then that is fine I don't mind using this wire but never ever ever for play purposes I wouldn't use this doll this wire for a doll for play purposes now this the jewelry wire I am a little bit more comfortable to give it to a child that is maybe 10 or older uh, or who plays very gently with their dolls I'm a little bit more comfortable but not completely I am this is the wire that I use for dolls that I I give Nobody ever recommended this type of wire. Nobody said, hey, you should go get this type of wire. This is wire that I already had at home. It is uh, from my painting days. I was sell I was framing, uh, framing some paintings and I decided to do myself instead of paying the extra money uh, to get it framed because, you know, framing is expensive. And so I got from there everything that I would need for framing. And while I only bought four frames, which was fine, even though it was a wholesale place, the four was the minimum. The amount of wire I had to get was humongous. This is the wire I got 
from framing. I don't know anything. Like the specs is this is super soft, super soft, finger friendly wire. It is plastic coated uh, with standard stainless stainless steel and it's a hanging wire it is number five i don't know what number five means there is no gauge written in this it is thicker than this wire so what this wire looks like is where's the end oh here it is <laughs> okay what the wire is is that it is coated in plastic i don't know if you can see that but it is coated completely in plastic and it's got wire, maybe like three or four strands of wire like this or thinner inside the plastic coating. I feel better about using this for a doll for older children. Never ever will I put wire on a doll that is meant for younger children. But for older children, I feel more comfortable because I feel even with a lot of play, it's not going to break as easily because it's coated in plastic. So this is the wire that I use. The most recommended wires are these two. No one has ever recommended using framing wire in a doll. And I will tell you why. I have never used this in a doll yet. I will be using it on a doll that is meant for display purposes only. And I'm going to use it only for a small part of the doll, which will be the fingers that needs um, the, if you, if you make fingers on dolls and you don't give it some sort of something hard, it just kind of folds into itself and the doll looks like this all the time. So I bought this for fingers only on dolls that I am only ever, ever, ever going to say is for display purposes only. It is never, ever going to be for play. This is the wire that I would use. For display, actually, even this one I would use only for... I would sometimes use this in a doll, but sometimes I feel better with the plastic coated one. It's up to you what you want to use. The most recommended is this and the florist wire. I'm going to show you the difference between the plastic wire and the florist wire in a doll. So for instance, I made this one, not the florist wire, the jewelry wire. This is the jewelry wire and this is the wire that I put into this doll. This doll, by the way, is the Pikachu girl from Mrs. Owl. It's a YouTube video. I will link it down below if you want to make it. It's completely in videos. There is no PDFs for it, but you can make it. It's really fun to make. I changed the face up a little bit. Uh, I ended up not liking the face that I made, but I kept it anyways. Um, it was fun to make. I made this quite a few years ago when I first started uh, experimenting with wire. I did not give this to my daughter right away. We played with it, but it was put away by me every time we played with it. And we'd take it out again by me when we wanted to play with it again. But it was not something that was staying lying in her room because it had wire inside. So this wire, if you want to see, it is so flexible. Look, she can... You know do that she can bend her knee like this completely see look at that angle all right this one and pretty much all the rest of them this is the only one I ever made with Julie wire I made with the framing wire which is kind of wild right now but this is the wire I used inside this one this is the Madison pattern you could find it in my Ravelry store or my Etsy store and if you see she's not quite as flexible like yes her arm bends but it doesn't stay completely bent see that it's not as flexible look at her feet I could bend her feet her legs I could bend her legs but look at the angle I get it's a really slight angle compared to that you see the difference so while this wire is more ideal and this is the wire that anyone who makes amigurumi this is jewelry wire around gauge 18 maybe 20 this is what people are gonna say hey you should use this and it's perfectly fine to use that but you have to do what you're comfortable with and even though 
I lose flexibility with this wire, I still use this wire because I just feel better with the plastic coating for my kids to be able to use it. Like both of them are now in her room. She takes it out whenever she wants to. So I have given this to a nine-year-old. I have given this to a nine-year-old. But most of the time when I make dolls with wires, I use this wire and this is how flexible she is, which is not, which is more flexible than any doll without any wire, but certainly not the most flexible doll ever. So I thought I'd just let you know about, a little bit about wire and the ones that are recommended and you can make your own decision on what wire you would use for your dolls. If your dolls are, you know, display only, I've never tried just like the whole doll being in the florist wire but who knows maybe that one gives you more flexibility i don't know because i've never tried it and frankly i'm not going to try it except for the fingers of the dolls it's up to you what you want to use it is your choice on what you're comfortable with i am not completely comfortable giving a doll to a child with no plastic coating. So I always, always, always use the plastic coating. I don't always wire my dolls because sometimes I give my dolls to younger kids. And so if I'm giving it to a younger child, I certainly don't want to give her wires. So when I do wire my dolls, I use this um, framing, uh, framing wire rather than the jewelry wire or the uh, florist wire which is the ones that will give you the most flexibility because for me safety is a little bit more important than the flexibility that the doll gives so uh just to give you an idea of how i do it i mean one day i will do a full wiring of a doll uh so you could see it from start to finish but that will be whenever i make my next doll just to show you Whenever I make a doll, I never leave the ends like this. I would never put it in like this. I will always turn it so that it's like this. Uh, some people go even further and put duct tape around it so nothing uh, nothing ever sticks out, which is really great. Um, I just go like this so that this, this is the part that goes up against the, the bottom of the boots or shoes or feet or the bottom of the arm it would be it's like this in there so that this is less likely to come and start sticking out it just gives it a nice little wider thing wider surface so that it's harder for it to just come out you do have to be careful with wire you really do um i would like i said never ever put wire on a doll on a toy, on any toy that is going to be played with by a child. Um, there's this really beautiful giraffe pattern I found. I really, really love it, but it requires wire in it for support. And I will never make that giraffe because I am not gonna put wire into a child's toy. So um, that's what I have to say about wire. You don't have to use any of the wires I used. I just thought it'd be interesting to let you know the types of wires and the types of wires that are recommended. And I wanted to show you my wire, which is not recommended by anybody. And to tell you the truth, if you want like a lot of flexibility, you don't want to use that wire either. I use it because for me, safety is also important as you know, I do want to have it posable, but I want to make sure that nobody that I ever give a toy to, whether it is my kids or anyone else's kids, will play with the toy and get hurt by it. That is something I really, really don't want. And so for me, it is totally worth it to use the wire that makes the doll less flexible like this one than the one that makes her more flexible like this one. It's totally worth it to use the less flexible doll to have the added safety of having it not likely to break. It's not gonna break where the arm is because of the plastic. This, I don't think it will either, but you never know. Like for instance, those safety eyes, I thought no baby can ever get those safety eyes out. But guess what? You could snap the top of the base, the, the top of the eye 
off the little stem at the back and then it's out. So it is not completely safe. And just like that, I have never had this obviously rip on me. I've only used it once and it has worked just fine until now. And it might continue to feel work just fine. I just feel a little bit more secure to use this wire, which is the framing wire, even though she's not as flexible as her. That's just my opinion. Anyone can use whatever wire they like, but I know that this is a question com that comes up. It's a little confusing. When you decide to wire your dolls, how do I wire it? What wires do I use? You definitely need a thin wire. Thick wires are not so flexible. They will not help you bend your wire doll. For me personally, I like the framing wire because you know what? I feel like it's just more secure. I may be wrong. This wire might never snap. The jewelry wire might ne never ever snap. It, I might be surprised like that. It might never snap. Uh, but I'd rather know it's not going to snap than gamble with it. So really, what wire you use for your dolls is completely up to you. But those are the three wires that I have, that I have had recommended to me. And um, I just wanted to go over what I feel comfortable with and what I don't. I hope this video helps you in your wire, wire buying decisions. And if it does, please give me a like. If you want to hear more from me, please subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye.